a very special guest to share with, uh, so I can share with him some recipe ideas for a menu he could make for his significant other. Now, not only do we know him as a former Cosmo Bachelor of the Month, actually, I didn't know that about him, but I'm going to ask him about that one. He also happens to be my favorite fireman. He is a second generation fireman who will be completing 20 years of service this May. And if that weren't impressive enough, he was also named America's Greatest Firehouse Chef with two books to his credit, The Healthy Firehouse Cookbook and The Firehouse Grilling Cookbook. Let's welcome a man who knows how to feed a crowd of hungry firemen, Joe Bonetto. Hi, Sarah. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. Is this your back. second or third time? Oh, I think this is my second time back on the show. Just because we work together at GMA, I feel like I've known you forever. Yeah, it feels Henry, like it. Henry, do you ever cook for just, by the way, this is yours. Oh, thank you. Do you ever cook for just two? Oh, of course, at home on uh, dates for significant others or potential significant yeah, others. Right. I'd love to cook. Don't you think people. this is a way to somebody's heart? Oh, through their stomach. It's yeah. a way to a man's heart, through his stomach, but it also works for women, too. Yeah. Now, let me ask you a question. What, what's this about Cosmo? That was back in 95 when the Healthy that Firehouse was, Cookbook came that out. That was I when was, you were young uh, and foolish. Yes, yeah. definitely, and they named me Cosmo Bachelor of the Month, and I ordered a little P.O. box, and I got <laughs> the mail like you wouldn't believe, so it was pretty neat. Wow, I'm going to check it out. But uh, so far, no significant others to be. <laughs> All right, well, we're so working far, on it. So far, but okay. we'll work on it. All right, now, but you're in charge of dessert tonight. I asked Joe, I actually wanted Joe to, we couldn't decide if I was going to show him or he's going to show me, and then we decided it's better for me to show him what to make since he doesn't cook that often for mm -hmm. little portions. But you're doing dessert. Oh, great. And uh, so I'll tell you my part of the menu is filet mignon with mustard port sauce, pom anna, and haricot vert and carrots. We're going to make these really bring to work on presentation tonight, too. Usually, I imagine, I'm sure you're good at presentation, but you just have big platters with Yeah, they like the sound, of, stuff the, on sound it. of the plop is more important than the presentation. Right. But, uh, but for significant others, we're going to work on presentation. And then your, what's, your, what's your dessert tonight? Oh, we're making tapioca with uh, cherries with the Grand Marnier sauce. Yeah, I threw in the cherries. You, you probably would have done it. He's a healthy guy, too. Well, so a little you, Grand Marnier for uh, Valentine's. Day or just for fine. a significant other is just fine. Just right. Okay, now I'm going to have you trim up some green beans. Okay. I'm going to give you the. I'm going to use the big knife because I got to do the carrots. Okay. So you, I'll yeah, just snap these. Just snap off, those guys off. I keep forgetting I'm working with an accomplished cook <laughs> here, chef, firehouse chef, and I'm going to cut up the carrot. Okay. What we did. Now let me explain what we're doing here. These are really simple vegetables. This is supposed to be a menu. Now he's accomplished, but for those of you who are scared, this is something you could do, and a lot of it is the presentation. You can really impress that person. So don't be scared. We're just. It's it's all in the cut, and and uh, let me show you right now. So we're going to take our carrot, and in order to get them to these beautiful pieces here, you could use a mandolin, which is that slicing machine, but I'm going to show you how to do it by hand. The first thing you do is just make it flat, and then you certainly wouldn't do this for a whole firehouse, would you now? No, and it would take all night, too. You <laughs> have to kind of make the meal in between runs. So. Oh, wow. Okay. And now how do you cut your carrots when you're cooking them for the guys? Actually, uh, we kind of dish out. We have 10 or 11 guys we're working with, so we kind of dish out responsibilities. So. Oh, so you all do it together? Yeah, it's, it's sort of like a family bonding experience. It's not a romantic dinner, but it's a family bonding well, I think experience. Well, I think that's what cooking should be all about all the time anyway. Oh, yeah. So you see what I'm doing here? I know you know how to do this. So then you cut them. You do the old deck of cards, and then you, this is like a, it's not a julienne. This is more like a batonette is what we would call it in cooking school. And then although these look just like these, these guys were blanched for about two, three minutes and then thrown into ice water. So a big part of this also is being able to make some of the meal ahead of time and so this much we've done. Okay. And then we're going to get our shallot. Boy, you are speedy Gonzalez <laughs> over there. Okay, I'm going to heat up my um, butter and shallots. This is for, and I know you could slim down this menu. I should probably ask you those questions, too. Uh, we could use olive oil and not so much. We're doing a romantic dinner, Whoops. so maybe we don't have to watch the Watch the fat so much. much. So you agree in moderation, too? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. 100%. There's a time for treats, and there's a time for watching what you eat. And a few holidays, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. You should have a good time. Exactly. So what we got here is just two tablespoons of butter. And I'm just warming it up because we're going to get back to this later on. So we're just parking that. So we sort of got everything in business. And what I'm going to do when we come back, I'm okay. going to show you how we're going to present these, which is the whole point of this. I mean, you know, carrots and green beans are nice. Oh, I do want to say one thing before we go, which is we were trying to get Ari Covert, which are really more like this size. Mm -hmm. They're the baby green beans. But we mostly ended up with these big guys. So we're going to make them work. But if all you can get, I mean, these are better if you can get them. They're very expensive, though. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I bought uh, enough for us for Thanksgiving, and I ended up paying $15 oh, for green beans. So I guess it's better you use the big guys. That's way over a fireman's budget. I know. What, what's <laughs> your budget for it. a meal? If it, if it comes in over $5 for each, part, each firefighter that's working, and I have to catch a bunch of grief the rest of the night, so they oh, like no. to keep it under $5. Because you guys pay for it yourself, yeah, as yeah. I recall. Yeah, well, one, one person will lay out for the meal, usually me, and then we'll look if 10 or 11 guys are eating, we'll divide it up by... Yeah. Uh, 
whatever, and if it's over five dollars, they'll scream bloody murder. Oh, that's terrible. Well, we're gonna <laughs> flunk here. I'm sorry. This is not a five dollar meal. Okay, we got a call. Come on over here. Come okay. on. We got a call. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Sarah. Um, for Valentine's Day, I'm going to be making a red velvet cake, and the only recipes that I've found have food coloring for the redness. Um, do you, I've also heard something about cherry juice to be used, but what makes the red velvet cake red? Red food coloring. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it out. You don't need it. You don't need it. Just say it's red. Or okay. dec decorate it with some cherries. Okay, okay, thanks a lot, Sarah. All right, thanks bye -bye. for calling. What, what would you have said? I, that one I'd let you feel. Okay. We don't really color too many dishes at the yeah, And you, I don't think you make cakes too often. No, you? You baking is kind of difficult when you're running in and out to different farms yeah. and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, you could so burn baking, something. Baking's kind of Blackened out. cake. Baking's okay, we're going to go to break. When we come back, we're going to be making this very elegant potato thing called Pum Anna. Very nice. Okay. Brought to you.